to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's uh, open to the book of Matthew chapter 14. Matthew chapter 14. Um, <clears throat> something happened here which I want us to pay attention to tonight. Um, on the subject matter of exercising our faith or working our faith, that is putting our faith to work. <clears throat> Amen. I believe you know that you have faith as a child of God. You have faith because you are a believer. That's why you are called a believer, because you believe. Amen. Once you have believed in Jesus Christ, you have the faith of God given to you. The Bible says faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by what? Yes. Hearing the message concerning Christ. Amen. It's not that faith comes by hearing, by hearing, by hearing, by hearing, by hearing. No. No, faith doesn't come by hearing, by hearing, by hearing, by hearing. No. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing what? The message concerning Christ. So when you heard that message, faith was given to you. Because faith came with the, with the gospel. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you heard the gospel, faith was imparted to you. And you received it. So when you received Christ, you received faith. Because the Holy Spirit is a spirit of faith. Hallelujah. Amen. So you are a believer. So you are a person of faith. Hallelujah. You are a person of faith. You are spiritual. Amen. You are not carnal anymore. Praise the Lord. The Bible says the just shall live by what? Faith. The just or the righteous. So as many as have believed in Jesus Christ, the Bible says they are righteous. And because you have been made righteous through accepting the gospel truth concerning the death of Jesus for your sins and his resurrection on the third day for your justification, faith has come to you. You are now righteous. And the Bible says, because you are righteous, because you are just, then you live by what? Faith. That is, your life is no more dictated by the physical, tangible world. Your life is now built upon the reality of the word of God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. As a believer, your life is not controlled by the terrestrial forces. Amen. You can rise above them. Amen. You can rise above them because you have been placed above them. Amen. The Bible says he has made us to sit together with him in the heavenly. Amen. So you've got to understand that you are not subject to the forces of darkness, the forces of this world. You are in this world, but you are not of this world. Amen. You are a person of faith. He that is from above is above all. Amen. So you are from above. So therefore, set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Amen. These are fundamentals of our Christian lives as faith people. We serve a faith God and we are his faith children. Hallelujah. So we live by faith, not by what we see, not by what we hear, not by what we taste, not by what we feel in our body. No, we live by the word of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. So now last week, I remember telling us about the, the, the trials of Paul the Apostle, all that he went through, how he was you know, almost discouraged, he almost despaired, a lot of trials and temptations, troubles, you know, came upon him, but he overcame them all. Hallelujah. And we said he overcame by what? Faith. Because this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Amen. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. That's First John chapter 5, verse 4. So our faith gives us the victory over the world. Hallelujah. But having faith is not enough. It's just like having a gun or a car. If you have a gun and you don't know how to use it as a soldier, you did not attend training properly. Huh? In fact, an enemy that is holding a knife will come near you and kill you. Though you have an AK-47 or automatic rifle, a pistol with you, because you don't know how to use it, the enemy will take advantage. Amen. Or you have a car, but you don't know how to use it. Then you have to go and pay somebody either to drive it for you or to take you there. You understand? Uh, but if you know how to drive, ah, 
You take your thing and you enjoy your money. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, we've got to understand how faith works. Or else, we will suffer as if there is no faith in us. With faith, we can move mountains. We can change situations. We can, we can live above the world. Amen. Glory to God. But having faith is not enough. We've got to know how it functions, how it works. Now, I remember that last week, I emphasized the need for you as a believer to see right and speak right. You remember that? You've got to what? See right and what? Speak right. See right and speak right. Now, I told you last week that to see right means to see by the Spirit. You see the things that are not of this world. You look beyond your physical uh, evidences. You look into the evidences of the Spirit, the reality. I told you about the virtual reality. That you know, the, you know, you know that virtual reality. Uh, uh, that that thing the people put on and they are playing game. And you look, it's like you are there. You understand? Uh huh. So Satan uh, gives virtual reality to believers, even to the world. So this world itself is a virtual reality. I don't know any of you have watched a film, this um, Kino Reef, uh, a film called um, uh, Matrix. Matrix, if you have watched Matrix before, Matrix uh, will help you to understand what I'm saying, if you have watched it before anyway. Um, it, it, it tells you that film, pay, you know, describe this normal world as a, as a Matrix. I mean, as the, the, the deceived world. Now, it's those who come out of it and enter into the matrix that are really living the true world. And that world is unknown to the other people. So everybody's just going. Amen. But there is a real world beyond, beyond that. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, that is, that's just it. The spirit realm is here. Is here. The spirit realm is not somewhere far away in heaven. The spirit realm is here. Hallelujah. So there is an atmosphere. As you are going around as a child of God, you carry your own atmosphere with you. Amen. And you've got to live connected to that atmosphere. Praise the Lord. Now, I want us to also understand that there is a big difference between Positive thinking or speaking and faith. They may look alike. They may sound alike, but they are not the same. Amen. Did you hear what I just said? Positive thinking and positive speaking huh? may sound like faith. But it is not faith. They are different. Amen. And that's why I want us to look at scripture. So that we understand. Because a lot of Christians, a lot of people will say, hey, the pastor said we should say it. So I was saying it. I was saying it. I said it. I said it. I said it. But nothing changed. Uh, it's still the same. Why? I said it. I kept saying it. But nothing changed. I want you to understand that the you know motivational speakers, uh, motivational speakers, they talk more about positive speaking. You know when you read all these books of uh, 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 all these positive you know all these motivational uh, people, uh, when you read their books, they talk about being positive, positivity, positivity. Be positive. Yeah. Positivity is good. But positivity is not the same thing as spirituality. Amen? Positivity is not the same thing as what? Spirituality. And positive speaking is not the same thing as faith. They are different. So that's what I want to pinpoint to you this evening. And so that as you are exercising your faith... You will know whether it is faith you are truly exercising or you are just uh, acting 
you are just practicing positive speaking or positive talking or positivity. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I said we should open to Matthew chapter 14. Matthew 14. Now here, uh, you know, Jesus Christ had uh, sent his apostles ahead of himself on a boat uh, over the lake. But while they were going, there was a big tempest. A big, the Bible said the wind was contrary to them. And then Jesus Christ, who was not with them, he was not with them in the boat. He was on the land praying. <clears throat> Amen? He was on the land praying. But he saw it by the Spirit. Jesus saw it that they were in trouble ahead. So he went walking on the sea, walking on the water to meet them. Praise the Lord. When they saw him, you know, they were already in the tempest. Their lives were in danger. When they saw him coming in the middle of the night, it was not in the day, it was in the night. The Bible said about the fourth watch. So they were frightened to see somebody walking on the water. And they cried out for fear. But Jesus said to them, fear not, it is I. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, do not be afraid, it is me. Then, let's look at it. Let's now pick it up from verse 28. So, having told them not to be afraid, Peter was surprised to see this man walking on the sea. And so Peter said, okay, verse 28. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. If it is you, if it's really you, it's not a ghost. It's not some ghost. If it's really you, I, uh, command me to, to walk on the same water. That's what you are doing, me too, I want you to do. That's what. See that guy, Peter, eh? I like his boldness. I like his boldness. The guy is bold. He's very, very adventurous. Amen. Amen. He's, not a, he's not a timid person. He's very bold. Very bold. Amen. Only that uh, his boldness sometimes fails him. Amen. You see, life is not lived only by boldness. If you depend upon your bragado, your 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 boldness, your human, you know, if you depend on that to to live in this world, you'll find that that your your boldness will fail you. Amen. You know, it failed Peter in the Garden of Gethsemane. Eh? You know, it failed him. Uh huh. You know, he failed him in the, in the, in the, in the courts of uh, Caiaphas. Aha. Uh -huh. He failed him. That boldness, that natural boldness failed him. And the same thing here. He says, if it's you, then command me to come. Verse 29. He, that is Jesus, said, come. Everybody say, come. come. Say it. Come. Say it again. Come. come. Just one word. Come. Come. So what happened? So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. He walked on the water and came to Jesus. So Peter actually, let's forget about the fact that he, along the line he failed. You know, he doubted and then he sang. But I want us to focus on something right now. The ability of Peter to walk on the water just as Jesus walked. That's what I want us to focus on. The fact that Peter walked on water as Jesus walked, that's what I want you to focus on tonight. Why was he able to walk? He was able to do the impossible as Jesus did. It was not by wishful thinking. It was not by positive thinking. Ah, I see my master walking on the water. Me too. Oh yeah, let me jump. No. No. He received the word from the mouth of the Lord. He received what? The word. So his action of stepping out of the boat on top of the water was not just positive action. Are you following me? It was not just 
I, am, I want to try. No. It was an act of what? Faith. That is responding to the word of God. Jesus said, come. That word come is what Peter walked upon. Not the water. Are you listening? What kept Peter from sinking was the power that was inherent in that word come. So because Jesus said come, he acted on the word of Jesus. So Peter was not acting presumptuously. He was not just acting uh, like me too, I wish to do what this man is doing. Are you following me? It's not a wish. It's not ah, this thing. Eh? This man is working on water. Me too, I go fit work. I go fit work. No. No, 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 no. He simply acted on the word of God. He had a definite, listen very well. Peter had a definite word that he received from the Lord. And based on that definite word which he received from the Lord, he was able to walk on the water. So his walking on the water was faith in action. Not just positive thinking or positive wishing. Did you get it now? Hello? You see, a lot of Christians, you see them when they are in trouble or they have some issue, just because they have heard man of God said something or because, so they, they, they just start saying the same thing. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> they just start talking. Or you see some believers who say, ah, I cannot fail. Because you hear your pastor say, I cannot fail. I cannot fail. So you do hear saying, I cannot fail. And you see a lot of Christians, eventually they fail. And then they begin to wonder how come. Or they, they have some issue. And um, they start, you know, they want to be positive. So they confess positively like, I will not die. I will live. I will not die. I will live. But you see that person upon all oh, day, I will not die. I will live. He, he, he can confess that one for two weeks and the person will still die. Why does that happen? I want you to understand tonight that faith is different from positive thinking. It's different from positive speaking. Even though there is positivity in faith, positivity itself is not the same thing as faith. Faith speaks positively. But positive speaking is not the same thing as faith. Faith is the word. It comes by the word of God. Okay, for you to understand. How many of you have, you, you know already that the Bible calls Abraham the father of what? Faith. Is that not what they call him? The father of what? Faith. So he was a man of faith. Aha. So Abraham was called a man of faith. What faith? Now, Abraham did not just wish to have a child at old age. Abraham's having a child at old age was not just a positive desire. Like, ah, yes, I should have a child at, the, at, at old age. No. Abraham's expectation Abraham's expectation of having a child was premised or based on specific word which he had received from the Lord go to the book of Romans Romans chapter 4 Romans chapter 4 Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4. Now, I want you to pay attention. 
Pay attention very well. Now let's start re reading from verse 18. Or let's start uh, reading from let's start reading from verse 17 or then from verse 16 to get it better. Let's start from verse 17. Now, listen. It says that is why it depends on faith, in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his offspring. That is the offspring of Abraham, not only to the adherent of the law, but also to the one who shares the faith of Abraham, who shares the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. Verse 17, as it is written, I have made you the father of many nations in the presence of the God in whom he believed who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. Now, pay attention to verse 18 now. In hope, he believed against hope that he should become, he should become the father of many nations as he had been told. Did you hear that? As he had been told. Told by who? Told by who? Told by who? Hello, are you there? Told by who? The Lord God. As he had been told. Look at that word, it's in quotation. Is it not in quotation? So shall your offspring be. Which means Abraham's hope. Of having a child was not just a natural positive human desire of course every person every man or woman that is barren that has no child desires to have a child is that not so it's not a positive thing to desire to have a child it's not a good thing you know it's a good thought it's a good desire but abraham's life was not based upon positivity it was not just based on desire. No. Abraham had received the word from the Lord. He had received a word from the Lord. God specifically told him, so shall your seed be. So he had heard that. God had spoken to him. Jesus said to Peter, come. And based on that word, come, Peter was able to walk on the sea. In the same way, God said to Abraham, so shall your seed be. You will produce a child at old age. Yes, out of this woman, I will produce an heir for you. So, it was not a positive wish. When Abraham told people, yes, I know Sarah will have a child, it was not positivity. It was not mere positive talking. No. No. It was what? Faith. Faith rooted in what? The word of God. Specific word of God. Hello? 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 See, I told you about when I lost my phone in Lagos. I I'm sure I've told you that testimony several times. See, I getting the phone back was not just positive it was not just positivity like ah i know i will get it back no i sat down prayed heard from the lord when i heard from the lord i acted on his word i got the phone so my my hope to get my phone was not just positive thinking it was faith in god's word i have heard from the lord so I know God cannot lie. Are you listening? It's not positive thinking. It's not positive thinking. No. When I told my uh, sister there, uh, Jennifer, that hey, never again, this child will not die. It was not just positive talking. No. no. I have heard from the Lord. I have heard from the Lord. So, uh, it was in the place of prayer 
When I went to her at the hospital and I saw the child, I saw the woman crying, and I went back home and I was praying. As I was praying, as I was praying, the word of the Lord came to me. Aha. Uh -huh. So when the word of the Lord came to me, I, in the morning, I went to her and I told her, This child will not die. Never again will you go back to a state of childlessness. Never again. That it does not positive thinking. You are standing, walking on what? God's word. You are, that is God's own integrity at stake. It's not about you, it's about Him. Hello? It's not about you, it's not your power. It's his own power. You are standing on his word. You know that he has spoken. You know you have heard him. So you act on his word. You take step based on what he has said. Praise the Lord. So it's not positive wish. Amen. Glory to God. Until you have heard from the Lord, you are still, you are just talking positive. Positive. You understand what I mean? Until you have definitely heard from the Lord, you are just wishing. Your case is just like we wish you many happy returns of the day. The person may die the next day, but it doesn't work. Long life and prosperity is just a wish. Is what? The person may die the next day. Just a wish. Is it not a wish? Now wish you. Praise the Lord. So when we talk about these things, we are talking, when we're talking about faith, we are talking about the word. The word of God. God has spoken. Go to the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 27. Acts 27. Acts chapter 27. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 27. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 27. Listen, something happened here. Paul the Apostle was caught up in a storm, a terrible storm, together with some people in a, in a big uh, ship. And uh, all hope was lost because for several days, nobody could eat. They did not even see the sun or the moon. They were in total darkness for several days. And all hope, all hope that they could be saved was lost. Look at verse 20. Chapter 27, verse 20, verse 20 says, When neither sun nor stars appeared for many days. Does it mean that the sun and the star did not appear? No, it means they could not see it. They were in a big storm. He says, and no small tempest lay on us. All hope of our being saved was at last abandoned. That is, we gave up. We despaired. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But look at verse 20, um, seven, verse 22. Verse 22. Paul spoke to the people. He said, yet now I heard you to take art, for there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the sheep. There will be no loss of life among you. Paul said that. Do you think it's positive thinking? You know, when you are in a bus and the bus is about to have accident, you know, some people can be bold. They will talk positively. They say, Charlie, nothing will happen. Charlie, nothing will happen. Oh, nothing, nothing will happen. He's just talking bold. That's just bold talking. It's not faith. It's just bold talking. Are you listening? It's just what? Bold talking, no? It doesn't mean the person is talking faith. It's just bold talking. And that's why sometimes you hear somebody say, ah, everything will be fine. And yet, accident will happen. And the person talking, cry will die. Amen. Are you listening? Oh, the person may even be a Christian. He may even be a pastor. Doesn't matter. There's a difference between faith and positive talking. And that's what I want you to get tonight. I hope you are following me. Now, Paul said, Yet I heard you.
to take heart, for there shall for there will be no loss of life among you. There will be no loss of life. There shall be no loss. There shall be no loss of life. That means nobody will die here. <laughs> Glory to God. Now, Paul spoke that. Why? He tells you why. Look at why. Where did he get that confidence? Where did he get that positive word from? Where did he get that boldness to say that? Where did he get the audacity to say that under that circumstance? In that dark, life threatening situation where everybody says, let's forget it, we are going to die. And somebody says, no, nobody's going to die. Where did he get that audacity? Verse 23. For this very night, there stood before me an angel of the God to whom I belong and whom I worship. And he said, he said, do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand before Caesar. And behold, God has granted you all those who sail with you. You see that? So, he has heard from the Lord. You understand now? So, before he, he could openly tell those who have said, Mona, no fear. Nobody could die for her. Nobody could die for inside this ship. We all go, we go get to our destination safely. Where did he get that confidence from? He said he has heard from the Lord. An angel of the Lord spoke to him. So, based on that, he was bold. He had hope in God's word against a natural hope because what is hope? Expectation. Expectation. So he had expectation in God's integrity to his word against the, the natural expectation of men in that situation. Now verse 25. So take heart men for I have what? I have what? Hey, are we? Hey, come on. I have what? You have Bible with you? I have what? Uh -huh. I have faith in God. What does God mean by I have faith in God? It means I trust God's word. God never lies. I have heard him. He has spoken to me concerning this situation. What he told me by revelation will never fail. So based on that, I don't care what is happening now. I don't care how the storm is raging. It looks like everybody is going to die. But I know, since God has spoken, nobody will die. It says, I have faith in God that it will be exactly as I have been told. So it came to pass to Abraham that Sarah conceived and boy, a son at old age, just as he had been what told. Paul also came out of that storm alive, and nobody died out of 273 of them. Nobody died. They all arrived safely at Rome. So it was not positive thinking, it was not just wish, it was not just let me talk positively, let's be positive. <laughs> You know, it's not positive. See, listen. Listen very well. I want to show you the difference between faith and positive thinking. See, look at the book of Exodus. Exodus. Go to chapter 14. Exodus 14. You know, this is where Pharaoh pursued the children of Israel to the, at the Red Sea. He wanted to capture them and bring them back to Egypt. Now, when the children of Israel saw Pharaoh coming and his army, they were afraid. So Moses spoke to them. Look at it. Verse 13. And Moses said to the people, Fear not! Stand firm! What did he say they should do? What did he say they should do? You know the meaning of stand firm. You know the meaning of stand firm? Hello? When, when, listen, 
Look at me. Look at me. Let me help you to get the picture to remind you gra to paint a, a some picture, a graphic picture of what happened at the Red Sea. Thief. Enemy is coming. What do you think will happen to the people? They will panic. People will start running at us. Is that not? People will be trying to find somewhere to to hide. Are you listening? So while they were running at us, Moses said, "Fear not. Stand firm." That is, stop running at us, get us. Stay in one place. Let's stand together. That's what Moses was saying. Everybody stand. Stand up. <laughs> he says, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see, you shall never see again. And the Lord will fight for you. And you, will have, and you have only to be silent. Now, at this level, listen, pay attention here. At this level, Moses was just talking positively. He was just being positive. He was just trying to, uh, you know, uh, quiet them. Hey, people, relax, relax. Hey, don't, don't be afraid. Everything is under control. Don't worry, don't worry. God will help us. It's like when you are having financial difficulty and uh, or challenges or you have, you know, and... Uh, you just say, no one, I know God will provide. I know God will provide. <laughs> My brother, you are, you are, now it's just, you are just trying to relax. You understand? And that's what Moses was doing. It sounded like faith. Yes, it's very good. It's very positive. But listen, he said, stand still. Stand firm. It's good. It's a positive thing. They should stand still. They should stand firm. Uh, and let's wait and see. That's, that's the level of positivity. But after Moses heard from God, look at the difference. Look at the next verse, verse 15. And the Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the people of Israel to do what? To do what? Go forward. Don't stop. Moses positively was telling them, Hey, everybody stand still. Stay in one place. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Um, God said they should not stand. They should what? Go up. Keep moving. To where? <laughs> the question is to where? Go what? Forward. Forward into where? The Red Sea. Because behind them was Pharaoh and his army. On their left and on their right were mountains and the, and the desert. But God said, go forward, not backward, not sideward, not sideways, but forward into the sea. When God says go forward, it doesn't matter what is standing before you. If you act on his word, that thing must bow. That thing will what? You to bow. God said, go forward. So based on God's word, Moses told the children of Israel, we are going where? Forward. You see, when I first, when I, when uh, Sister Jennifer first called me to the hospital, it's good. You can start from positivity. I say, yeah, you can start from there. But don't stop at positivity. Positivity. Have you understand what I mean? Don't stop there. When she called me, I went to her at the hospital. I think together with my wife. And I, I saw this situation. At that level, listen, at that level, I spoke positively to her. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Oh, don't be afraid. This guy will not die. It, <laughs> but inside me, there was a little fear that this girl might die. Because I saw the girl. I saw the situation. So there was some ranging inside me. That oh, this, this baby may die. But after I got home and prayed and prayed through and I heard God. <laughs> Charlie, fear no day again. Doubt no day again. I went to her at the hospital. I said, it doesn't matter what doctors say. You are bringing this girl out of this place alive. Because God says the Lord, never again. <laughs> you see, I heard from God. 
She was trying to say, hey, doctor said, I said, I don't care what doctor said. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, when they told me, he, uh, uh, talk way of uh, CRV, they say, hey, talk way. Uh, once I heard from God, I just went to him. I said, talk way. Not now. Because I heard from God. It's not, I was not giving him, I was not just comforting him. You know, it's not just uh, positive to him. You know, you know, go die. Eh? No worry. Eh? Take out. You know, go die. This sickness, you know, go kill you. You know, go, you know, go die. Hmm? Oh. Mm. Mm -mm. I heard from the Lord, and because I heard from the Lord, I told him, this is what God said to me. You will not die now. Is he not alive today? It didn't matter where they took him to. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. So, once you hear from the Lord, that is faith. Acting on that one is faith. Many people never heard anything from the Lord. They are just being positive minded. Just positivity. It may work. Listen. And it may fail. But one thing about the word of God, it never fails. Listen, if it is your positive talking, positive thinking, if it's your positivity, let me tell you, circumstances can make it fail. Circumstances can change and make it fail. But no word from God shall fail. No. So shall my word be that proceed out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me Void. That means it will not return to me a failure. But it will accomplish that to which I have sent it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So it's not positivity. Even though it sounds like positivity. Two persons, two sick persons eh, may be saying, I will not die, but I will live. I will not die, but I will live. One is talking positively. Even though both of them may be quoting the same book of Psalm. Both of them may be reciting, quoting Bible. I will not die but live. I see the, I see the glory of God. <laughs> I will not die. They are, one is talking positively. The other one is talking in faith. Are you listening? That's why some people say, I... I I, I said it, I said it, but but what? <laughs> Listen, you are just quoting Bible. You are just doing, doing that's why I do tell you, this thing no be twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh. This thing no be poem. Oh. This thing, when we talk about faith, faith is not a, uh, you are just reciting it. You are just, you know, many of us, we have, we have uh, what they call post, uh, confession. They, they call confession of faith, you know, faith confession. Because pastor say you need to say it. Listen, don't stop there. Pastor is just priming you. You know what they call priming? You know priming. How many of you know what I mean by priming? It's just kicking you. Uh -huh. But if you don't have fire inside you, if they kick you finish, car when they when no get fire. If you push her, it go move small. But because you no get fire, it go be continue for where? Now there it go stop. But if you get fire, it go move. You understand? So when there is faith in you, you have activated your faith. The word of the pastor, the, the word that pastor gives to you, pastor hear from God, then you have to hold on to what he has said. You yourself must learn to hear from the Lord in that situation. Praise the Lord. Hear from the Lord. Hear from the, from the Lord. When I wanted to do my wedding, and everything was against me, financially speaking, everything was upside down. Listen, I heard from the Lord. I didn't just do wishy wishy. I want to meet. I want to do big wedding. No, I heard from the Lord. I prayed. I meditated on the word until I heard from the Lord. When I heard, I knew I have heard from the Lord. And based on the word of God, I made bold and I took bold steps. And my wedding was very successful. Amen. Amen. Things were just falling into places. Glory to God. So it was not just wish. It was not just positive talking. 
So it's not just positive, mm -mm, it's not positive thinking. Even though positive thinking is part of faith, but positive thinking, mere positive thinking, is not the same thing as faith. Positive thinking is, is rooted in your own mind. In your own what? Mind. Human will. Human will. Human desire. But faith is rooted and built on what? On what? God's word, which is his will in that situation. Praise the Lord. Amen. And this is why, as a child of God, you must be committed to prayer and the word. <laughs> if you are lazy in prayer and the word, you will be living just positive. Your, your Christian life cannot go beyond positive talking. You are just be, uh, but let me tell you, one day you will know that that positive talking is not enough. You need to walk by faith. You are a faith person. Amen. So it's not just enough uh, repeating it, uh, saying it over and over. You know, I remember uh, Dr. Yonggi Sho of, of South Korea. He said, a young man <laughs> said, he said, I'm healed. Uh, no, I, I am healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. He was saying it. I'm healed. I'm healed. I, I'm healed. I'm he healed. He was sick and he was just shouting, I'm healed. I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. He was positive. He was just talking positively. I, then as he talked, oh, let I know. Oh, I am not healed. <laughs> Amen. Dr. Yongisho also told the story about three Korean young ladies in his book, uh, The Fourth Dimension. He told about these three young ladies, Korean girls, who saw flood. There was a heavy flood after rain, and the, the river overflowed its bank, and they needed to cross to the other side, and they wanted to do what Peter did. And they said, yes. They held and they said, yes. We are going to walk on the sea like Peter. They drowned. The water carried them away. And it became news in Korea. And some people started mocking Christianity and say, see, because in the, everybody was looking at them. They held them together and they were speaking in tongues and we are, and we are going. And what has swept them away? Listen. They did not hear from God. They just wanted to put the Lord God to test. You must hear from God and be sure you heard from God in that situation. Praise the Lord. And how do you ensure that you have heard from the Lord? In the place of prayer. It's in the place of prayer. It's in the place of in the place of prayer. In the place of prayer and meditation in the word of God, that is where you know you have heard from the Lord. I told you about sometime when I was very sick, terribly sick. And uh, I made up my mind, I said, no, this is an insult. I took my Bible. I said, Lord, I want divine healing. I took my Bible, I started praying, 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 meditating, looking at the scripture, turning from one page to the other, all, all the scriptures on healing that I could remember. I was reading through them. After about some hours of meditation in the word of God and prayer, see, when you, <laughs> see, when, when, when the word enter you, you yourself, you know the thing enter. Hey, see, spiritual things are real. When the word entered me, and I saw my healing, I saw the fact that God has, he has a fasci is it not fasci what do they call that? Is it not fascination? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He has uh, inoculated me or fascinated me against that. I just stood, I stood up from my seat. I said, never. See, what I heard was so real. What I saw in the scripture was so real. I lifted my eyes to sky like I to, to my ceiling in our room. I said, God. He, this is real. 
I said, God, if I ask you to heal me, I must be stupid. Because I don't need healing. <laughs> you have healed me a long time. I was just ignorant. Then I looked down under my feet. I said, Satan, you are a liar. You have deceived me a long time ago. But now I know the truth. The truth makes me free. By the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed. This thing does not have power over me. Listen, physically speaking, all the symptoms of that sickness was still on my body. My, my tongue was still bitter. My head was still banging, headache. My whole joints were still aching seriously. Yet, I stood my ground. My wife said, hey, hey, let me bring, she bought medicine. I said, I don't need it. It was not just bold faith. Oh, this is faith. I said, I don't need it. She went to tell our family doctor, oh, please, mommy, hey, pastor is sick. I said, ja. our family doctor called me. Hello. Ah. I said, mommy, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm not coming. I don't need it. I don't need injection. I don't need it. Why? I know what I have received. I received the word from the Lord at about 1 or 2 p.m. Before 6, 6 in the evening, hmm? all the symptoms of the sickness vanished. Vanished. No medicine taken. No drugs swallowed. No injection. Because I heard from God. I know that I want. I heard. So the word has entered into me. So it's not just what I read. It is what I heard. Many are reading. But very few are hearing. Until the word becomes voice. It has no power. It must move from letters to become life in you. For the letter kills. See, pay attention. Let the word sink into you. Meditate on it until it becomes a voice inside you. Meditate on that truth. Don't just read it. A lot of people, they just be reading it. They are just reading it. They are just reading it. They are just reading and quoting and confessing. Uh, uh, you know, uh, just, that's just the same thing as saying twinkle, twinkle, little star. Or oh, we wish you many happy returns of the day. That's what it sounds like. That's no power. But when you are prayed and meditated in the word of God, and the, 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 the writings there have been quickened to your heart. My brother, my sister, whatever you declare at that point, now God talk and move. Hello? Now God talk and move. It cannot fail. It cannot what? Fail. Cannot fail. Cannot fail. So when I was coming to Ghana, I did not come looking for greener pasture. I did not come here looking for greener pasture. No, I came here by the word of the Lord. I came here by the word of the Lord. And God is feeding me with three children and my wife. God is supplying our needs. Amen. So, on what am I living in this town? On God's word. Amen? Amen. It's not your bold faith. You understand now? So, faith is different from positive thinking. Faith is what you heard, what you received from the Lord. Positive thinking is just what you wish, what you desire, what you wish, the good thing that you wish. That is what positive thinking is all about. Amen. You get it now. Hello? So, pay attention to the word. That's why God said to Joshua, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate therein day and night. Why? It is what you meditate on that fills your heart. And that will quicken your inner man. Such that when you open your mouth and you speak, power is released. Hello? Hello? 
two persons can be saying, come out, come out in Jesus' name, come out. <laughs> you can say it, I can say it, it is different. I remember when one of our brothers here, he said his, his wife was sick. I said, have you prayed? I said, pray for her. She said, ah, pastor, I am afraid. Pastor, I prayed for her. I said, did you lay hand? I said, yes. I lay, oh, pastor, I lay hand. And he was serious. I said, okay, you come. Come with me. Enter my office. So I entered, and then we prayed. I lay hand on the wife. In the name of Jesus. Ha -ha. That was manifestation. The lady fell. She was healed. That is power. My own in Jesus' name is coming from some re revelation where I don't chop up. It's not just Bible quotation. It's not just a twinkle, twinkle, little star. You meditate on the word. Study it. Meditate on it until it becomes real to him. Until the intangible becomes tangible. Until the invisible becomes visible. To you. You meditate on it. Hello. This is not just a, a he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. <laughs> My brother. Now memory verse you the read though. That one on Sunday school. He never enter you. See, when he enter you, you will not, you will not quote uh, he that dwelleth in the secret place. You are quoting Bible. When the thing enter you, you will say words. You will say words. Not necessarily what is directly written. When you release it, the devil will know somebody is talking. Are you getting it? So, when I confronted the juju man, and I said, I am Pastor Joseph. So you are the juju man that said I should pack. It is an a bold face. It is an a bold face. Now, but they take you that one. <laughs> My brother, go see me. If you try it on just ordinary boat face, you go see me. Hello? The word. See, I have meditated on that word. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I meditated on it so that he did inside me. It's not memory verse to me again. It has become. Mm, it's there. It's a life inside me. So when I, you say you are, you are what? Instead of being afraid, there will be an eruption. There will be what? An eruption. There will be a boom. See, listen. Other people heard Goliath. Fear gripped them. There was fear inside them. When David heard the voice of Goliath, what happened? There was anger inside him. He, who is that one talking? Other people were quiet. Because David was a man of all faith. So brethren, you understand now. So let the word of God do a rich in you. Meditate on God's word. Pray and hear him talk to you on that issue, on that matter. Hello. Praise the Lord. Amen. I, I told you about the, the time when I was a student, as a, you know, and an engineering student, then undergraduate, and um, there was this particular course was was threatening me with failure. Hey, I took time to study and then I prayed, but I wanted to be sure because that course looks too too horrible. I prayed, I prayed, and then the word of the Lord came to me. And when the word of the Lord came to me, I knew, I knew I passed it already. <laughs> Amen. Amen. See, when God speaks to you, all those, uh, mm, he, he, he finds no place. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, meditate on God's word like that. Be given to prayer like that. Such that in any situation, the spirit of faith is actively operative in you. Actively what? Operative in you. So Bible is not something that, uh, you know, it's only when some people get problems and they remember Bible. Now that time they go remember Bible. Now that time they go remember to pray. Oh God, Father, 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 Father in Jesus' name. Father in Jesus' name. Hey. Huh? The last time I spoke in tongues was, 10, was 10, 10 months ago. 
They will not remember. Ah, chaka today, chaka today. <laughs> now there you day. <laughs> oh. Want to compare yourself with somebody that is speaking in tongues two hours every day? So what are you talking about? Amen? Amen. So be given to prayer. You are a child of God. This is your natural life. This is, you know what I mean by natural? That's, it should be normal for you. Praise the Lord. I want to say I'm a man of faith. I hear God. I hear God. I hear God. You know, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. You are his sheep. Amen. You are his what? You are his sheep. Amen. You are the sheep of Christ. So you hear his voice. In every situation, take your Bible. Sit down. Bishop David Redefo said, sit up. Stop shaking around. Sit up. Pick your Bible. Start reading. Meditate. Pray. Meditate. Pray. Meditate until the word enter you. When the word enter you, nobody will tell you. You yourself will know, say, something enter you. Hallelujah. Hello? You understand? Spiritual things are real. Oh. Spiritual things are what? They are real. They are real. They are real. So don't let anybody deceive you. Don't just go around uh, joining people to say a positive confession around. Or you are just doing positive confession. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't be like that. See, sit down on the scripture, on the word. Meditate on, on it until the, 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 what you are reading becomes a voice. It comes alive inside you. It becomes a reality to you. Then it will not be quotation again. It will not be life and power. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I say glory to God. I say glory to God. How many tree planted by the riverside? I produce my fruit in due season. Ah. Whatever I lay my hand upon prospers. It's not quotation. It's revelation. Let's be on our feet. So, it's not positivity. It is what? Faith. Don't live by positivity. Let motivational speakers do that one. You are not uh, of this world. You are a spiritual person. Hello? Motivational speaking can fail. Main motivation. But get revelation. And stand on it. Amen. Amen. And do what? Stand on it. Act on it. Boldly. Peter stepped out of the boat. And he acted on God's word. Did God fail him? Did the word of God fail him? He walked on the sea. He walked. He walked. Amen. Amen. He walked. He walked. You too. I see you walking. Amen. I see you triumphing. Yes. I say I see you triumphing. Amen. Over that negative situation. Yes. I see you triumphing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So I want you to open your mouth and begin to declare the word of God by faith. Then speak by the speak by the Spirit. Release the word. It's in you already. Release it. Release it. This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, they will cast out devils. In my name, they will speak with new tongues. You are a child of God. Speak with new tongues. You are a child of God. Speak with new tongues. Gada 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 zoko tozei. Ye peke pete leke tole breha. Ye papoto libraha. 
les gâteaux qui les propos les propos les 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 classes l'andros que dia les vapeurs sont se préquer continue 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 the word of the lord will come to you as you pray and meditate on the word of god as you pray and meditate on scripture as you pray and meditate on scripture power is rising in you power is rising in you your faith becomes strengthened your faith is strengthened your faith is strengthened your faith is strengthened, faith is strengthened to mountains in Jesus name we pray when Jesus told both his disciples and the Jews he kept telling them the son of man is going as it is written and he shall be betrayed into the hands of men and he will be killed and after three days he will do what you think he was talking positively you think it's positivity that okay if I die I wish to rise is it wish is just, is just a positive wish he was speaking from what scripture revelation revelation the promise of God which he has read it has become reality to him Jesus meditated on the scripture and it became real to him his resurrection became what real to him as Jonah spent three days and three nights in the belly of the fish but he came out Jonah came out Jesus said the same way Jonah came out I will come out of the grave he knew what was written he knew it that he will come out of the grave no, he will not be there. He will not be buried forever. Amen. Amen. Joseph came out of the prison yard to become the prince of Egypt. He too will come out of the grave. So Jesus has seen those things. He has seen them. And based on those things, he began to speak out. He began to speak out. He began to speak out. He made some positivity in your own ear. It's not positivity. It is faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Speaking from what? Revelation. Speaking from what? Revelation. I want you to pray and say, Lord, I, I, my, my, my spirit is awakened for revelation. As I meditate on the word of God, I receive revelation. Not just, I'm not just reading Bible. I'm not just reading the letters. I'm receiving revelation. The eyes of my understanding are being flooded with light. The eyes of my understanding being flooded with light. The eyes of my understanding being flooded with light. I am seeing, I am seeing, I am seeing revelation. 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 Be awakened in your spirit. Be awakened in your spirit. Be awakened. Be awakened. Le bado zoko. Le breke kelele. Em braba bari abara ba. Imo katule mante. Ye poto le baha. Limongo zoko tondi braha. 
I walk by faith. I walk by faith. I walk by faith. I walk by faith. Faith in the word of God. Faith in the word of God. Faith in the word of God. Concerning my healing. Concerning my business. Concerning my finances. Faith. Faith. Faith in the word of God. Faith in the word of God. Faith in the word of God. Mazakata doze keto, ye pram dos keriano, ye balaka turiabale, ye bele doso koto le bremo, ye langa sakiela noski, ye mbrodo kesente, ye bataka nazo koto, ye mbrege de zodo, ye mbrege de zodo, ye prakantu le bre. In Jesus' name we pray. Remember what is in Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 28 to 29. He said, the prophet who has a dream, let him tell his dream. But he who has my word, let him speak it what? Faithfully. What is the charm to the wheat? Is my word not like fire and like the hammer that breaks the stones in pieces? Hello? It doesn't matter the dream you have. It doesn't matter the vision somebody told you. It doesn't matter what you see. What matters most is a revelation of the word of God that you have. Yes. A prophet may talk his own, but if you have revelation, you have revelation of the word of God, the will of God concerning that situation, it doesn't matter what that prophet, or the title of that prophet, or the, the popularity of that prophet. Revelation will cancel it. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. Ah. It is by revelation. Amen? 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 Amen. 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 But you know the problem? Many Christians, they are still traditional in their mind. Do you know that till today, some Christians, if they trump, when they are going in the morning and they stomp on their left toe, they will still say, blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Ah, they, they, will still, they still react to that thing. He is still real to them. More than the word of God. Hello? When I got a contract as an engineer in Lagos, I told you, I say cobwebs. I was, my face was just catching cobwebs. Like, <laughs> when I got, I just laughed. I laughed. I didn't panic. I laughed. I say, Satan, you're a liar, a big joker. My father said to me, ah, my God has told me, my father said to me, I will go before you. I will make the wicked places straight. I will break in peace the gates of bronze and cut asunder the bars of iron. I lay emphasis on bars of iron. I said, my father said, if somebody tried to stop me from this contract with bars of iron, he will cut it off. Not to talk of cobweb. Cobweb. I say, Satan, you are a liar. Ah. That is revelation. That's not Bible quotation. Yes. I got to the site. Satan reared up his head. We lifted up the generator with crane. High, 100 kV. The hook broke. Bah! The thing supposed to fall down and kill people. But because of the word of God, the thing that broke, who cannot that thing automatically? Supernaturally. Yes. And we landed the generator safely and I installed it. I got my money from the bank. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't live by tradition. We don't live by custom. We don't live by uh, what do they call that thing? Uh, uh, taboo and all those things. Uh, I don't know what, they, what name they call it again. Uh, superstitions. Live by revelation, not by superstition. Um, hello? Catch revelation. Give time to the world. Give time to prayer. But if you are too lazy to meditate on the word and to pray, my brother, you will just be on the level of positivity. That's the only level you'll be. But go beyond it. And then you will see the glory of God. Amen. Amen.
I say you will see the glory of God. Amen. I want to say I'm a believer. I'm a, believer. A, child a child of God. Born of the Spirit. Born of the Spirit. Born of the Spirit. I have the faith of God in me by the gospel which I heard and received. I received the Holy Spirit and I have faith in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit who lives in me is the spirit of faith. And I meditate on the word of God and pray. And by this, my faith, my faith is energized, is quickened, is energized to move mountains, to change situations. When I speak, I speak faith. I speak faith. I speak faith. 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 Confidence in the word of God. In the integrity. In the integrity and the faithfulness of God who never lies and can never lie. I speak faith. I speak faith. I speak faith. Not positivity. I speak faith. I speak faith in the word of God. Like Paul. Like Paul. I boldly say. I boldly say. I believe. I have faith in God. That it shall be. It shall be. Exactly. Exactly. As I have been told. As I have been told. The word of God. Did not fail. It did not fail. In the life of Abraham. It did not fail. In the life of Isaac. It did not fail. In the life of Jacob. It did not fail. In the life of Moses. It did not fail. In the life of David. It did not fail. In the life of Jesus. I know. I know. Whatever God says. Stands forever. Stands forever. Stands forever. Heaven and earth may pass away. But God's word abides forever. Abides forever. On his word. I build my life. On his word. I take steps. I take steps. On the word of God. And I know. I will never be disappointed. I will never be ashamed. Because the word of God. Can never fail. I walk on the water. I walk on the water. I heal the sick. I raise the dead. I cast out demons. I speak in tongues. By faith. By faith. In the word of God. I believe. Because the word of God is the truth. Therefore, I live by faith. Not by positivity. Not by positivity. But by faith. The faith of the Son of God. I live by it. I speak. I speak. My words may sound like positivity. But I know it is far above and beyond and greater than and superior to positivity because it is rooted in what God has said. What God has said is my faith. It's my faith. It's my faith. It's my faith. I'm a faith person. I have faith in a faith God. And I know it will never fail. Lift up your hand and worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Rebroco sotto le bregadei.